Hello, and uh, welcome to my Let's Play of Dragon Warrior 7. This is the interlude episode in which I grind for job levels. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit different, basically. I'm just going to show the level ups that I get for them, as well as whatever abilities that I get from them, if possible. And if I can't show the ability, then I'll at least explain what the ability does. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, other, you know, in other words, I'm going to be cutting out a lot of, uh, you know, the battles and stuff, unless I want to show off an ability. So, let's get this started. Okay, uh, so, Hero just became a shepherd, uh, novice shepherd, rather, and learned Antidote, and so did Mary, and so did Gabo. Now, for Antidote, uh, it is fairly, uh, easy to figure out what that does, but I'll still show it anyways. It cures the poison effect, which I think is pretty cool. So, uh, I will no longer have to carry those antidote herbs, or, I mean, yeah, the antidotes on Mary, which is nice. Okay, so, uh, Hero is just promoted to level 16. This has nothing to do with his job level. I just wanted to point that out. Um, and the reason why, oh, his job level increased too. Uh, but the reason why I said that is because, you know, as I level up, uh, the area that I'm currently in, which is the Verdham region, um, will eventually, I won't be able to grind there anymore, so I just wanted to mention that. Anyway, so as the shepherd, Hero became a farmhand. As the shepherd, Mary Bell became a farmhand. A farmhand. Uh, so they didn't learn any new abilities that time. As the Shepherd Gabo did as well, and Gabo learned Heal. So the reason why Hero and Mary did not learn anything is because they both already had Heal. Uh, so let's uh, just check that very fast just to make sure. Yeah, Hero has Heal, Mary has Heal, Gabo has Heal. Another thing I want to point out is that when you click on uh, characters in the screen, you see where it says Shepherd and it shows three stars. Mary, three stars. Gavo, three stars. And there's a bunch of little question marks as well to indicate how many classes there are in this game. There are quite a few. Uh, you know, quite a few of those are uh, intermediate and advanced classes that I don't have access to yet. And then some of them are actually monster classes because you can actually learn a class that allows you to learn the abilities that monsters have. Now, most human classes uh, allow you to learn most of those abilities, but it's still one of those things where as you play through the game, uh, you know, you're gonna want to occasionally have a character learn a monster class for those very special abilities that only monsters have. Okay, so Hero just became a slot feed and learned Slumber. Slumber is that ability that I was talking about in the last video, uh, which is really awesome. Uh, one of my favorite abilities in the game. Mary Bell also became a slot feed and learned Slumber, and so did Gamma. Uh, so I will give a brief explanation again. Nap to refresh MP, HP, and MP. Now here's the interesting thing about this. Okay, so I'm standing right next to this right now, this little teleporter, and I'm going to look at uh, Hero's stats very fast. He currently has a max of 117 uh, HP and 51 MP, but right now his HP and MP are actually kind of low. So what I'll do is I'll use Slumber, and then I'll walk around a little bit, and you can see down below his the little ZZZ thing, and that's all it took, by the way. He went from, uh, I don't know if it was like 40, there was 40 something MP that he was missing, and he was only at like 111 HP uh, before, but he already went up to max, so if you enter the little teleporter here, uh, he will actually wake up, as you can see right there at the bottom where the level thing is. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty cool ability. I like it a lot. It's very helpful if you're in an area where you can, like, immediately enter 
a town or something because you can't use it in towns. In fact, I should have demonstrated that just now, but uh, yeah, you can't really use it inside towns or areas that don't have any kind of fights. I guess that was their way of limiting it. At least as far as I know, you can. Okay, uh, Hero became a shepherd and, oh, well, rather a swain as a shepherd and learn Whistle. Whistle is awesome, and I will explain that in a little bit. Uh, Mary Bell also learned Whistle, and so did Gabo. Uh, as a shepherd, Hero is becoming matured. Now, matured is an interesting thing, because basically, uh, before you become matured, if you decide to change classes, uh, actually, no, never mind. Forget that thought process. When you become matured, if you master, or not master, but become matured in another class, there's a chance that that class might have a com like a combining effect, so to speak, where you learn uh, an ability that's kind of like a hybrid ability, so to speak, between the two classes. A little bit complicated. Uh, I might show an example of that eventually, I don't know yet, but uh, let's first explain what Whistle does. So Whistle attracts enemies. Up until now, I've been uh, running around to get enemies to fight me. And believe it or not, it's actually kind of slow. But with this, all I have to do is select Whistle, and I enter battle immediately. Okay, so Hero just became a fleecer in the Shepherd class, but he didn't learn anything. Mary Bell also became a fleecer, and so did Gabo. Now that could have been one of those levels where they just don't learn anything at all. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I just wanted to mention that Gabo, uh, leveled up to level 16. Just keeping, uh, that in mind for right now. Okay, so Hero just became a Shepherd Herder. And Lord Bullguard. So did Mary Bell, And so did Gabo. Uh, so for Woolguard, I'm actually gonna have to go into battle to show the description of the ability. Uh, but if I recall correctly, all it does is, uh, yeah, it allows allies to resist cold. So it's basically just, uh, something for, you know, ice-based defense. Okay, so Mary Bell was just promoted to level 17. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, I don't think any other characters are going to be promoted. And, yeah, she didn't learn any new abilities on her own. Okay, so Hero is just promoted to level 17. Uh, just wanted to point that out. Okay, so Hero just, uh, leveled up and became a Sheik Lord, which is the final level for the Shepherd class. And he learned Stampede. I'm going to show what Stampede does, even though it'll waste a uh, battle to do so. But, uh, let's check it out very fast. Stampede is pretty awesome. It works just like, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. It works just like, uh, Gabo's, uh, ability. Um, whoops, there we go. Which, you know, the Howl ability, it works just like that. Basically, it has a chance of working sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. But it deals a fair amount of damage, and all three characters now have access to that. So that is going to be very helpful. Uh, so I will see you at Dharma when I change my class to the Bard class for all three characters. Okay, I'm back at Dharma, and I'm going to change my class for all three characters to the Bard class. And I'll even kind of point out some of the... Uh, the stat decreases, so it actually further decreases my strength from uh, the amount that it was, you know, for Shepherd. And you notice uh, Shepherd at the bottom there has Master uh, next to it, you know, with so many stars. When you uh, learn a class, it starts you off at one star, so. Uh, other than that, there really aren't that many differences between a Bard and a Shepherd. Uh, that would affect what I'm gonna do, so. Hero, do you wish to become a bard? Yes, I do. Um, and of course I'm gonna be mastering the bard class as well. 
in this, you know, interlude video. And the reason why is twofold. First of all, the, there's an ability that the Bard learns that allows me to revive party members. And second of all, there is a, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna change one of my other party members' class. There's a hybrid skill between Shepard and Bards, which allows me to basically get rid of the, what do you call it, the sleep rods. Yeah, the sleep rods are obviously really great, and this ability is basically the same thing, but even better than those. At least if uh, the information I got is correct. Yep, I'm gonna change... Let's, let's just check this out right fast, okay? So when you scroll down to Bard, see how it says Master and it shows one star at the bottom there? Uh, I just wanted to point that out. Yep. Okay, Hero Gabo. Gabo now, Bard. Now, to be honest, a part of me kind of wanted to go with Thief. And the reason why is because Thief learned some skills, like the treasure hunting skill. Uh, I don't know if I'll uh, master the Thief class in this intermission as well, because it, you know, it takes a little bit. Like, I took over an hour just to master the Shepherd class, so... And I was just repeatedly fighting over and over and over again. Uh, let me just make sure that everybody has Bard. And not to mention, you know, I only have three party members, so I want to make sure that I uh, don't overdo it too much. Okay, it is time to begin the job level grinding for the Bard class. Uh, so let's get started. I will see you when I hit the second level of... Because I'm currently on the first level. Yeah, everybody starts off at the first level. So uh, I will see you when I get to the second level. Okay, so... Uh, Hero just became a novice bard and learned Eagle Eye. Uh, Mary Bell also became a novice and learned Eagle Eye, and so did Gabo. Now, Eagle Eye is a map-based ability, kind of like Slumber and Whistle and stuff. Um, and it allows you to locate a nearby town. So, Hero gained the view, uh, Eagle Eye view. Something is at 14 steps to the east and 19 steps to the north. It's not really that useful, to be honest. Uh, but... It's still something, you know? Okay, so Hero just became a poet bard and learned X-Ray. And so did Mary and so did Gabo. Okay, so X-Ray, I think that's another field-based ability. Yeah, it is. See-through chest. Now, what this does is basically when you're, uh, like, let's say you're in front of a treasure chest and you want to know if it's a mimic or not, you can use this ability. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really demonstrate it because nothing will happen if I do that. Okay, I just wanted to point out that Gabo had reached level 17. Uh, I don't think he's going to learn anything new, but, you know, that's just what it is. So, yeah, the next job level, here I come. Okay, Hero became a ly lyricist uh, bard and learned Sleep Song. Uh, Mary Bell also learned Sleep Song, and so did Gabo. I am going to demonstrate what Sleep Song does. I'm pretty sure it's a an ability in battle. Now, that's not the song, uh, that's not the uh, ability that I was talking about for uh, putting things to sleep, but it still should be uh, good. So, song, uh, singing causes enemies to go to sleep, and it costs zero MP. Uh, so, let's demonstrate this very fast, whoops, with each character. On the baby goyle as well. The other ability that I'm talking about can put everything, you know, all enemies to sleep uh, for free. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty neat, isn't it? So I no longer need the uh, sleep rods, uh, even with just this ability alone. Okay, so Hero became a Warbler and learned Repel. Uh, Maribel also became a Warbler and learned Repel, and Gabo. Uh, so, 
Hero also just matured and by using experience as a shepherd learned Ram Song. Now that is the ability that I was talking about before. So I've got two abilities to show off, Repel and Ram Song. Uh, Mary Bell also has Ram Song learned and so does Gabo. And uh, Ram Song basically puts everything to sleep apparently. I, you know, based on what I looked up. I've never actually used it before, believe it or not, in past playthroughs. Uh, so I'm going to use Whistle and test out these two new abilities. I'm pretty sure both of them should be under the other. No. Huh. Uh, one of them is a spell, right? I guess. No? Oh, Repel might be a field ability. Okay. So, first of all, uh, let's lull enemies to sleep with Ramsaw. Now, unfortunately for this fight, uh, it's not really going to showcase what it can truly do. So, you know what? Instead of doing that, let's finish this fight very fast and uh, get into a fight with enemies that will actually showcase it properly. And also check out uh, Repel as well. Now, I'm not going to use Repel because if it does what I think it'll do, then I don't want to use it. Uh, where is it? Repel. Scare off enemies. So basically, there's an item right here in my inventory called Repellent. Uh, repels weak enemies. So basically, they both do the exact same thing. If I get, you know, irritated with the encounter rate or whatever, and if the enemies happen to be weaker than me in the area that I'm in, then this will, uh, you know, keep any enemies that are weaker than me from encountering me in battle, but I'm not going to use that, obviously, because there's no point. Uh, okay, so this is a good fight to showcase uh, Ramsong in. So let's do that right now. I'll use it with all three of them. So basically, it'll, it'll put a both of them to sleep. Even though they're two separate groups. Okay, and somebody just leveled up. Mary Bell leveled to level 18. I'm not too surprised by that, and she didn't learn anything else, so I'll see you once I get to the next jump level. Okay, so Hero became a crooner and learned Wake Song. Mary Bell also became a crooner and learned Wake Song, and so did Gabo. Uh, so Wake Song, that sounds very much like a an ability that will allow you to wake up party members who've been put to sleep. So let's check it out. Uh, so it should be among heal, probably, yeah. Singing wakes allies. Uh, so, yeah, it's as simple as that. I don't even need to use it. Fairly simple, straightforward, uh, description. Okay, another character just leveled up. Uh, Hero is promoted to level 18. I wonder if, uh... Nah, he's not gonna learn anything. Okay. Okay, so Hero just became a songster and learned Miss Song. Mary Bell also learned Miss Song, and so did Gabo. So let's go ahead and check out what that does. First of all, I'm going to make sure it's not an ability that I can use here. Uh, it's not, so uh, I'll use Whistle with Hero to get into battle. Um, let's see should probably be among others, right? Singing seal spells. So basically, if uh, enemies can uh, use spells, Miss Song will prevent them from using songs for so many turns or whatever. Not, not song, but it will prevent them from using spells for so many turns. Okay, and Hero just reached the max level for Bard Minstrel and learned Angel Song, which is the ability that can revive party members. I don't know if it can work outside of battle or not. I'm going to check very fast. Uh, it doesn't look like it can work outside of battle. So let's uh, let's check out what it does in battle. Just to make sure. Uh, it should be a skill, I believe. Is it among others? It'll be probably heal. Okay. Revives a single ally. Doesn't even use uh, MP, which is nice. Uh, it's uh, unfortunate that it only works in battle, but then again... Usually you would, you know, 
be in the middle of a fight and have to revive a party member. So, uh, yeah, all three of them now have that ability, and I will, uh, go back to, uh, what's it called? Dharma to change to the next class. See you there in a little bit. Okay, I'm back at Dharma, and it is time to change my classes. Now, I'm not entirely sure which class I want to go with yet, uh, but I think... Uh, and, you know, it's a little bit boring to go, like, same class for all three of them each time. But at the same time, there are advantages to doing that. So, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do... Uh, is just for this next portion, all three of them will be warriors. And the reason why is because there's a hybrid skill with warriors and uh you know between warriors and what's them what are they called oh, i can't even think of the name now bards so as long as and that that was the class i just mastered was bard. so i'm going to be learning that ability eventually a little bit odd to Go strictly with warrior. It's going to lower my uh, my stats in areas that I don't want it to lower it in, unfortunately. But that's the uh, that's the price you have to pay, right? So let's see. Uh, yeah, it increases strength by quite a bit, which is nice. But it lowers agility by quite a bit too. Uh, increases HP by quite a bit, but then lowers max MP, so there are upsides and downsides to all of that. And, you know, unfortunately, it's one of those things where you just have to deal with it, I guess. Gabo became a warrior. Yeah, I just want to make sure that all three of them are warriors now. And that is it. Uh, for now, uh, it's a little bit, like I said, a little bit boring to have them all be the same classes going forward, but, uh, at least for now, that's kind of what I want to do a little bit with, uh, basic classes, uh, and then as I get into the more advanced classes, you know, intermediate, advanced, and so on, I'm gonna vary it up a little bit, uh, because the base classes have a lot of very useful abilities that you can, uh, take advantage of. And, you know, naturally I want to do that if I can, so. Thank you very much for watching, if you watch this interlude anyways. Uh, and see you in the main video. Uh, bye bye